Hello fellow fiber lovers, my name is Chris, also known as Nifty Red. This video will demonstrate how to perform the knit front and back transfer technique that is used in the body of a wooby whale. This technique is an increased stitch where you transfer one of the stitches onto waist yarn. The main concept is that you will build the base of the stitches for the whale's tail while knitting the body. What you'll need handy is a yarn needle and some waist yarn with contrasting color. And what I have here is a swatch sample to show you how to pr perform this technique. You'll follow the instructions when asked to work a knit front and back transfer and you'll do the number of increases suggested in the pattern. So for this I'm just going to do a sample of eight increased stitches. So I'm going to knit front and back eight times. If we got it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So um, I prefer to slip the stitches back onto the left hand needle. there. All right. <clears throat> so now that you have all the stitches transferred back, then we're going to uh, slip one stitch onto the waist yarn and one slip will go back onto the active needle. So we're going to slip that through and you can drop the needle down. You can let it transfer off and then slip the next stitch onto the needle. Again grab your waist yarn, grab that one, pop it off if you prefer, and then grab the next stitch, let that slip over. Now you can do it one at a time or you can also just look at the legs of the stitch because you can see the one that's purled through the back loop creates these little bumps. So you can grab one, then grab another, and say you can do a couple, two or three of them at a time without getting your waist yarn all tangled. And then you can slip one off, slip one onto the needle, make the other one slip off, slip one, and so forth like that. Whichever is easiest, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Now, depending on the pattern, you might also be grabbing the back stitch as well and maybe not the leaning front stitch. So just make sure that uh, you're grabbing the right stitch that you need depending on where you are in the pattern. Okay, so then you could just keep on knitting moving forward, right? With the rest of the pattern. And so you just make sure you got a tail on both ends here. And so when you go to make an increase, say the pattern tells you knit to so many stitches on the next round and you do an increase right before this, then you're going to use this side of the tail of the waist yarn and work it up that way. And then when you make an increase on this side, you'll use this side of the waist yarn to then increase and add the stitch to that. Um, so for example, I have another swatch that I did where you're, you started here at your base and you used the tail from this side and worked your way up here and this side of the tail worked up here and then the last round has you do more across the top and you're left with the two 
leaning there. And, and really at this point it doesn't even matter because you're going to end up picking up these stitches that are left on this waist yarn to grow your tail for the whoopee. If you'd like to make a comment, please do so below. I'm on Ravelry is Nifty Red, and you can also find me there and participate in my group, Nifty Red Designs. Cheers and happy knitting!